your room. This is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. The training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. your grip. Use your momentum to swing across. Hurry! That's it, Holmes. Come on! I haven't got all day! Cover. Aim, shoot. Advance the next cover. Got it? Excellent, Jody. Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums. Good. Let's keep going.
Not bad. Shot. Come on, start again.
Not bad, Jody. But if this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. Congratulations, Operative Holmes. You made it. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. It's like you Great made job, it, Jody. Congratulations. I feel like everyone's looking at us. That's not just a feeling. Everyone is looking at us. This dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. The dress is perfect. You look great. But the most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheik Ahmed. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on that. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. He found you charming. I should be flattered. Okay, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Ah, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. I don't know, you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? Hurry, I didn't. It hurts like hell when you're too far away. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. Gotta distract the guard first. Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. Got it. 
be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, Aiden. Now let's see if you can open the safe. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. Sorry, I can't do anything to help you. Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan. I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. 
You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again! I'm not yours, Aiden! I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. The trash can in the kitchen. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Oh my God. Oh my God, the dinner. Okay. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, oh. I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's... Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden.
So far, so good. Use a walk. He's early. I'm coming. <gasps> you know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not going to stop me from seeing Ryan. I haven't finished cooking. Jeez, I better hurry or we'll have nothing to eat. Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... It can't hurt. I mean, I need all the help I can get. All right, add the sake for flavor. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. Huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> Crap. 
Do I have time to take a shower first? What should I wear? Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. Hot. He is going to see a whole new side of me. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. I didn't behave yourself. Hey, this is important to me, and I'm counting on you. Hi. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. 
The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. Want me to open it? No, oh, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brothers still live there, but I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, try the army. You know, looking for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Ah, Asian beef, right? Yeah. Is... No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked and I would rather not talk about the first thing. Mm. This is good. Oh. Good. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I mean almost nothing about you. I mean, there's nothing much to say. You know? I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me, and well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So, yeah, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No, no, I don't. I'm, 
I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but you know, I'm making progress. Yeah, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the info world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now, listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. Mm -hmm. And are you um? Are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean I, I I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years, and uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Aiden's got nothing to do with this. Jody, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not um, it's not your fault. There's there's just there's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I better go. <laughs> Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy. No backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. Now, the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. They found his head 
one of his legs in a fishing boat. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. We still have time before I go, right? No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, Aiden. And we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. See if you find anything. Great. Now let's go. I'm 
معنى ان في مكان من الهجوم وان هذا الوضع حقيقي؟ نعم لانه يريد الذهاب الى هناك من الفنادق سيكون رائع التخلص وانهاء This is an Aki Hotel. They've gone. There's one not far from here. Should be easy to find.
وصلكم إلى الأسفل هيا اتبعوني من هناك؟ Where did I see it in my vision? They came here.
almost did the job for me. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand a word you're saying. Salim, Salim. Your name is Salim. Salim. Jody. I'm Jo Jody. Jody? Yeah, yeah, Jody. Jody, Jody. Looks like we have some new friends. Ahtarisu, haptakun musallaha.
We gotta get out of here before more show up. Good team, don't we, Salim? <laughs> the sun is rising. It's gonna make it tough to not be seen now. The tower. The tower's over there. Al Turidina Jabila Unek. El Aborje Shabbat. That's where I need to go. What have I got to lose? straight through. Stay close, okay? Quick, help me! I 
يتلاوم انت تعرف الاوامر سوف ننتظر حتى يتصلوا بك هل سمعت الانفجارات انا لست مستعجلا للانضمام الى شريف لقد استولوا هؤلاء الاوغاد على كل المناطق الشماليه I wasn't being noticed. This is where we have to go our separate ways. I must go. Do you understand, Salim? La na troko ki? Yung kinuni al baka wila jani boki? Hasta tiu musa hada tuki? Sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all going to be over. And you can just go back to being a kid.
Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. Now find a place close to the house where I can take cover. You know what you have to do. Find your wall, item. to do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. Confirm that Jamal is dead. Hurry! Salim? Abi! Abi! La! La ta mucha, Abi! En abi haja ilayka! La ta trukni! La ta trukni! He's your father? Ni maza fa'alchi zalek! Fakal tu ana ki sajikachi! Kata 
بچیابی فقط به بچیابی انا کراهک انا کراهک Ten years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Aiden, of course. Jody, you okay? Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. It's just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in.
and the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. You lied to me. What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? Look, we're not politicians, we had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now we had a job to do and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some four fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Joe, listen, listen, you calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated you used me to do your dirty work! What difference does it make, Jody? You was a dead man walking with or without you! I have blood on my hands! Some kid lost his father because of me! Because I trusted you! Because I trusted him! We were doing the right thing! What am I, me, Brian? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence! Fuck! I can't... I can't control it! Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Jody, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Jody! Fuck! Find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen. Tell I... them, Nathan. 